Hi, it is Ashley Main again, I could be pro here, and I wanted to go over a few of my favorite snacks and sauces. I first wanted to be like snacks and then it's kind of went into other things with sauces and drinks that I like and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go over a couple of things that I like for not just competing but also for um, my off season, like things I just like to have and um, little things like that. I post them on my Instagram stories sometimes, people ask me questions about them so I wanted to go into a little more in depth with what I like and why and stuff like that. So. Let's start with just a few, and I found updating this, but let's just start with just a few of my um, things I like to have like on hand with me, kind of like have on deck with me, um, in my purse when I'm either like running around from training clients or something like that, like to just like have, so I'm not having to choose between eating nothing and like stopping and eating something that's you know not going to fit my my goals, and I don't like that much and stuff like that. So yeah upside down so um, this is um, like a little tuna packet from um, safe catch elite I get these from sprouts I get a lot of my stuff from sprouts um, you can sponsor me if you want to do sprouts um, but um, I get a lot of my stuff from sprouts um, you can also I'm sure get these on Amazon too but these I love for a few different reasons one they actually taste really good I love anything with lime so these are great um, and then also it's lower fat and if you are tracking your macros and you want to be able to put more stuff on your food as far as sauces or cook with you know more oil stuff like that then it's kind of good if you can keep your fats lower in certain things especially for snacks um, and uh, it's higher in protein um, the only thing with this is that like you need to make sure you have a fork or something with you because um, I was uh, wrapping up with clients one day and I wanted to go to the, to the grocery store and then by the time I got done with the grocery store I was going to come home and I had to eat and then go back to the gym. So um, I didn't have a whole lot of time to eat another meal before I had the next meal I had to have. So um, I had one of these in my purse and on the way to the grocery store I just like tore it open and started eating with my fingers. I washed my hands but I started eating with my fingers. And I kind of forgot when I came home um, and um, I said hi to my boyfriend when I walked in the door and he had like some stuff on his shirt so I like was like dusting it a little bit and he smelled my fingers. He's like, have you been eating fish with your fingers? Jokingly and I was like, oh my gosh, I have. <laughs> so don't be out here having your fingers smell like fish. But these are good. And then uh, these are the, a couple other things also I like. Um, because they're in packs, it just makes it really easy if you're like driving or something like that too. Um, this brand is called Noka. They are good, again, just watch as far as your calories and your macros because they can, they have fruit, so they can be a little bit higher as far as carbs and sugar, but as long as you're tracking it and you're not going overboard with other things, it's fine. Um, but these, same thing, I just like that I can tear it open and I can either eat it while I'm in the car or from training clients. I don't want to eat like a full outright meal all of the time <laughs> around them. Um, then I can do that and it's like, you know, no, no big deal. So uh, these are great. These have around like five grams of protein, um, carbs are 17, and fat is 1.5. So these are great. But if you want to make sure your protein is a little bit higher, um, this is another brand called Fuel for Fire. It's the same, same thing. It's a little uh, pouch. Um, and uh, the, the protein is a little bit higher. So these are actually 12 grams per uh, serving. Carbs are also 15, so actually a little bit lower than that one. And fat is zero. And all of the things that I'm showing you today, including obviously this one, the ingredients are good. Um, when I start to get closer to shows, I have to be more and more picky with the way that I choose my food, especially my snacks. Um, whether it's you know convenient or not, it needs to be good. And even when I'm not in prep, I still try as much as I possibly can to not be eating you know junk all the time and stuff like that. Like for the most part, in a month, like I might have maybe two, three, possibly four um, days where I have things, not all of my meals, but some of uh, the things that I might pick are not absolutely 100% spot on. But predominantly, they are. So um, when it comes to the shows, it just tightens up even more where I have like zero days where I'm not spot on. So like for example, for this one, um, the ingredients are banana, strawberry, water, whey protein, isolate, and natural flavor. Now again, when I get closer to shows, I'm still gonna cut this out because of the natural flavor. 
Um, if you're not sure what that is, Google it. There is actually no definition. <laughs> so um, you don't get to 100% know what's in there, but it is a last ingredient, so it's not too, too bad. Um, but yeah, so these are another um, good option if you want to have something that's kind of, you know, fast. And it's actually also maybe good for uh, kids. A couple of my clients that are moms have these too. Now, I love to snack. Um, I think sometimes when people hear um, like, you know, nutrition, diet, whatever, um, as far as fitness, they think like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to have any snacks again. Like what can, you know, you have to eat a full, um, salmon and broccoli and rice every single meal. And you don't necessarily, you can, if that's what you want to do, but you don't have to. Um, and again, when you're a competitor, it, you have to kind of be more picky with some of your stuff. But if your goal is just overall health and fitness, there are so many snack options out there for people who are looking to, you know, make things interesting and maybe not necessarily always eat a full outright meal. So, um, this brand is called Epic. I love a lot of their stuff. They even have jerky, stuff like that. They have a couple different things. But pork rinds. Yes, I'm telling you to eat pork rinds. Um, I love, again, with chili and lime. And um, this brand in particular I like because um, they, as far as like their animals, they there's no antibiotics, there's no hormones. Um, it's really, really great. Um, and their uh, quality is like, up there like it's number one for them which that's really important for for me um also this company is at austin texas so i love them even more because of that but to give you an idea what the ingredients are um uh pork skins uh paprika um salt citric acid sea, sea salt onion powder lime juice uh, chili pepper jalapeno pepper red pepper garlic powder so i mean if you really 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 wanted to you could kind of make these ish yourself it just again it not that it has to be 100% like this all of the time, but a basic good guide to go along with as far as snacks or you know food that you're buying that's an actual product is it should read a little bit like a recipe, not so much like a science experiment. Now again, just because you can't you know pronounce, for example, like turmeric doesn't mean that it's bad, or a couple other things also doesn't mean it's bad, but if you can make it more simple, it just, it's easier if you don't know all of those things and what they are. Um, so this one, again, I like quite a bit. Um, and these actually pack a lot as far as protein. So for example, um, one of the servings um, in here, which is like about like a fifth or so of the bag, um, is 11 grams of protein, 2.5 grams of fat, and it's zero carbs. So yeah. And these I like because they're kind of crunchy. You can snack on them. And again, you're still getting a good amount of protein in. Um, I love having these on planes too. So like whenever we you know take trips places, I go to Sprouts and I pack up a couple of different things. And this is usually one of them. And it's also really good if you happen to you know be somewhere where um, like you're at a hotel or your Airbnb and you don't want to have to worry about um, not having snacks when you're there. That's one of my things too. Is I don't just want the snacks for the plane ride. Like I want to be able to like be at the hotel or the Airbnb or whatever and like have some snacks there. I'm a little bit of a creature I have it with that. So yeah. Maybe one video I'll like tell you the story about Bali at some point in time. I got chased by dogs there because I was hungry. <laughs> so for another time though. Okay. Um so this brand um Siete, I think that's how it's uh, pronounced Siete. Um, I love these chips. I posted these on my Instagram and I got so many um, either reposts. I got a lot of people um, DMing me saying that they tried them. And funny enough, whenever I post something, not that it's just me, maybe it's a coincidence, I don't know. But whenever I post things on my Instagram story that are at Sprouts, they're always gone the next time I go. So like, I want to tell people about this, but also I'm like, don't like, not all of it. Like, don't get all of it or order more. Um, but yeah, this brand um, is uh, one that I like as well, um, and it's grain-free tortilla chips. So um, with this one, to kind of go over the ingredients with it, um, cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seeds, sea salt, citric acid, and lime oil. Lime. Um, so this I'll have with like salsa and you know, stuff like that. I've even before made like um, nachos with them. I'm gonna make chef nachos where I had these some um, grass with ground beef, some um, also grass with cheese, and they're really, really good. Same thing though, just make sure you're tracking everything as best as you can. Whenever I get closer to shows, I definitely don't have as much um, wheat that is not sprouted. That's a video for another time, but um, even on my off season, I don't have wheat that's not sprouted, and when I get closer to shows, it needs to always be that way. So maybe like, again, off season might have two or so maybe, maybe days where I don't have wheat that is sprouted, and um, when I get closer to shows, that is like gone. So yeah, that's this one. 
These I also love. One of the intentions, um, activated superfood. It's tandoori turmeric, and again, this same kind of like flavor profile. I just love it. Um, turmeric I love, cumin I love. It's popcorn. Now for this one too, um, again, just make sure you're kind of tracking everything. Um, it is, you know, there are some carbs in there, but they're not, it's not super crazy. But to go over the ingredients here, there's popcorn, obviously. Um, sunflower oil, um, popcorn is a popcorn. It's <laughs> the first ingredient, as it should be. So popcorn, sunflower oil, Himalayan uh, crystal salt, uh, red bell pepper, turmeric, dulce leaf, coriander, black pepper, lemon peel, onion, chilies, cumin, turmeric uh, extract, ashwagandha extract as well. So yeah, so again, the ingredients are really, really good. Um, these are also, I like to kind of like snack on them. I've even done it before, we're like, um, not this prep quite yet, but my last prep, uh, my boyfriend and I were gonna go see a movie and we, well, I know, I like to snack. I mean, he doesn't eat anything sometimes, but I always eat something. Um, so I brought like my own bag with these, and I had these instead of having something there, where, like they have like movie theater uh, popcorn with the butter and stuff like that. So um, I had this instead, and it is just as good. And also, if you guys notice, like all of these things, which I have more to go over, but all of these things, they, they don't look boring. It's not like it's like some, you know, I don't even know how to describe what other boy like. Not like it's like in a paper bag that your mom packed you. It's like, here you go. No, these are all like really, really cool looking things and they taste really good. So if you are either like, you know, going somewhere, like you're going to a party or you're going to like a birthday or cookout, whatever, something like that, and you don't want to worry about eating either nothing or something that's not that great for you, then you can bring something like this. You don't have to even say anything. You don't have to even say like, oh, it's a healthier version of uh, butter popcorn. It's a healthier version of tortilla chips, whatever. You can say nothing and people will just eat it and like it, I guarantee you. I've had several times that I've brought either something like this over to, um, um, you know, for a friend's like party or whatever, or I've had one of my friends come over and like made her dinner and had stuff like this there and she thought we were cheating. I'm like, girl, no, we're not. It's, it's all good, it's all good stuff. So um, it just makes it easier if you have stuff like this on hand so you can bring with you um, wherever you're going and still stay on track and like your food and not feel like you're like being deprived. Now with that being said, another snack that maybe not everyone likes but I like, I've already dug into them obviously. Um, these are rice cakes <laughs> and these are the um, Lundberg um, kettle, um, kettle, what is it? Kettle corn. I was gonna say kettle bell. It's <laughs> not. Kettle bell rice cakes. Um, no, kettle corn um, rice cakes. And um, when I eat these, I, I will eat these off season. No, not a whole lot, no, but like I will eat them. I do like them. Um, whenever I'm eating them, I feel like either, like well, I know my boyfriend's looking at me like, are you enjoying your rice cakes? Are you really enjoying them? And yep, I do actually like them. Um, this is my like little treat right now as I'm in prep that I can have a little more often because the sugars are still really low and um, it just kind of makes my carbs like they're going a little bit further because it's not, you know, smaller grains of rice. And I actually just like the way they taste. There's all kinds of things you can do with these. I'll just eat them by themselves sometimes. Um, but yeah, these are something that, again, if you're a competitor, which again, all of this stuff you can still have. Just track your stuff, obviously, and know what your intolerances are. But uh, these um, have been like a staple for my last two preps and this one. Because again, it helps um, keep my carbs in check, makes them last a little bit longer. It's like a little bit of a treat again for me. So um, if you're a competitor and you do wanna, you know, have something that makes you feel like that, these are a really good option too. And again, the ingredients are super, super simple. Funny though, um, I was really, really leaning on these like my last, few weeks or so of prep because I needed something just to make it, me think I was having something sweet a little bit, like a little bit. And um, I usually get these from like Vons or Albertsons, but they used to have them at Walmart. And I remember going into Walmart and I was a couple weeks out and again, I'm like angry, <laughs> I'm hungry and I want to not be in Walmart. <laughs> so um, I went in the store and I was looking for these and I couldn't find them. They were there before and I couldn't find them. I remember getting like so pissed off because I couldn't find them and um, there were like all of these like big containers of like their water, they just got shipped in, just like in the way. I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a moment. So now I think I'm gonna Amazon like a bunch of these so I just have them. So. 
This, ooh, this brand, Simple Mills. If you guys don't know about them, you need to look them up because they're great. This one, it's rosemary and sea salt. I also love rosemary, anything with rosemary. I put rosemary in my water, it tastes really good. But this one, uh, this brand, they make a lot of stuff that's like super easy, super simple, and the ingredients are like spot on great. Um, they make these crackers, they make cookies, they make um, pancake mix, they make muffin mix, they make um, all kinds of stuff that, again, like if you wanna have an easy switch for different things, and again, they just look good, um, this is a great way to go. Um, I used to, and I still do, make some of my own stuff. Like I'll make my own coconut flour pancakes, I'll make my own um, uh, donuts and stuff like that with, uh, again, better ingredients. But sometimes, again, if you don't have a whole bunch of time to do that, or if you don't even wanna do that, and you don't wanna use that as an excuse to eat crap all the time, then this brand is really good. Um, um, again, I get them from Sprouts. Again, I'm sure you can Google them and you can find out where they are near you, but they are great. And I'll go over the ingredients real quick if you wanna to look too. So, um, they have a nut and flour um, blend. It's almonds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, tapioca starch, cassava flour, more cassava, um, organic sunflower oil, rosemary, sea salt, onion, garlic, pepper, rosemary extract for, for um, uh, freshness. Everything is like great and they taste really, really good. I've had these um, for a dinner party that Jeff and I had where I had these and like some goat cheese out and people liked them. I love these things. Whether you're a competitor or you know, you're just gonna be again more health and fitness, you know, aware, conscious, stuff like that about your food. Um, if you are a woman and you happen to be on your cycle and you're like, I want to eat everything in sight, I, I screw the salmon, screw the broccoli, screw all of the things, and you want to have something. Now, a few things go along with that. Again, you know, when our hormones are changing and stuff like that right then, um, we'll have cravings. We're also burning more calories during that time of the month, in case you didn't know, which is also what, one of the reasons we get tired, we get um, uh, cravings, we're burning through more calories, things like that. So um, if that helps you also know, you know, for the future, hey, if you're gonna start in a couple of days, make sure you get a couple of things to have at home so you're not just reaching for that like, you know, dusty bag of M&Ms that you're like, let me just find that real quick. Um, so these are a couple of things I like to go to. Again, because I'm in prep right now, I'm just a little more limited, but I wanna keep sharing more stuff with you guys. These, these. These things right here, I'm obsessed with so much. So, Sprouts has their own brand, obviously, and um, they have these coconut rolls. There's different ones. There's the uh, coconut rolls that don't have any chocolate or sea salt on them. Some that are like chocolate, like with just cocoa mixed in to the coconut uh, flour. And um, these ones, um, again with the dark chocolate, dark chocolate and sea salt. Now, I used to get the other, just the plain like um, coconut rolls, like vanilla kind of like flavored one. They had vanilla extract in them. Um, and again, I posted about them. All of my clients were eating them. Um, people at the gym were just like, hey, oh my gosh, like where'd you get those things? And like it says sprouts right there, it's at sprouts. Um, and again, they kept like being, they were gone, like whenever I posted about them. Um, so I'd like stack up with uh, a bunch of them because my boyfriend loves them as well. Now these, I happen to be in Sprouts in the um, like line for the register and everything and I saw a box like a couple registers down and it said coconut rolls. I was like, oh, okay, like, I recognize coconut rolls. And then I saw dark, dark chocolate and sea salt also. I was like, what the hell is that? And so I'm like, she's checking me out and I'm like, um, can you open that box? <laughs> like, because they weren't out. And she's like, what box? I'm like, the box with the coconut rolls that have dark chocolate and sea salt on them. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need that. Um, so she opened it up and she's like, do you, you really like these? I'm like, you, fucking yes, these are amazing. Um, the ingredients are really good for this. Um, again, track how much you're having. Yes, it has some sugar in it, but obviously don't have the entire bag. Um, just have a couple out and either have it with a coffee or have it as like a little treat at the end of the day, whatever you wanna do. But these are really good. So to go over the ingredients also with these two, so coconut milk, dark chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, um, natural vanilla, coconut sugar, rice flour, white sesame, and sea salt. So like bomb, all of the ingredients are good. Um, I have these with my coffee sometimes, and sometimes I'll just like have a couple of bites. Like they're really, really good. But again, just make sure you're tracking. Again, if you're on your cycle and you like chocolate, these are great, they're crunchy, they're great. This is like mostly gone. <laughs> so This is more so actually what I'm having more right now. The reason is because the coconut rolls are great, but again, if 
because my calories are getting a little bit lower, I have to be um, more picky with my food so it goes longer. So this is just like dark chocolate. Um, it's dark chocolate, it's 80%. You know, don't be out here having Hershey's and be like, oh yeah, like, what do I don't have abs? Like, no, get good actual chocolate. So um, this one, again, I love. And then um, there's this one here, extra, extra dark chocolate, and it's 81% as well. Chocolate is fine. Nothing is, it's, nothing is wrong with it, but the issue is when you have other things that are also in there that are causing you more harm than good, or also just messing up the flavor of the actual like cocoa or cacao, be fancy and say cacao. These are also really great to have on hand if you happen to be on your cycle or if you happen to have some kind of cravings um, that pop up. I literally just grab like a bar, like a block, like a little block, and I nibble on that and I'm good. So um, yeah, those are a couple things too. Now to kind of also go into that too, here are a couple of like drinks that I like to have. If you don't want to just keep having like a bunch of water and then also juices are not absolutely amazing to have. Um, if you're going to have juice, my recommendation is to have juicing of your vegetables, not your fruit, because you're taking out a lot of the fiber to slow the sugar down um, and just making it harder on your body to store those things properly and to not store them as more fat. Use it as you want to but try not to have a whole lot of it. If you have like a, like a full glass or so of orange juice, that's a lot of calories. So just kind of be careful of that. A few things that I like. So with that same kind of like chocolate kind of note, um, some things that I'll also do if I get, again, lower on calories or if I just, you just want to have something a little bit different later on at night. Um, this is actually Four Sigmatic's Co Cocoa Mix. You can use these in the morning or at night, whenever you want, but this brand I love. They make a lot of the mushroom elixirs, and if you're not too keen on you know, the benefits of different mushrooms, then maybe it's a video for another time where you can look it up. They have a lot of information on their website too. Um, this one has reishi. Reishi is really good um, for relaxation. It's good before you go to sleep as well. It helps you get into REM sleep a little bit faster. It helps you stay there a little bit longer. So it's great. Um, and then the ingredients are really good for this one as well. Um, cocoa powder, um, palm sugar, reishi extract, cinnamon, cardamom, which I love, um, stevia. So yeah. So these are really good and you just, you tear it open, you pour it into either water or coconut milk. Usually I do coconut milk. And when it's hot, I'll put ice in there and just like blend it and use it as like an iced like kind of cocoa thing. Um, but if you want to try it out, how I do my coffee and my cocoa when it's warmer and I have more fats is I'll put hot coconut milk or hot water, I'll put this in there, um, a little bit of honey if you want, and then a little bit of coconut oil. Now the coconut oil has to be hot when you do this, but when you blend it, it makes it frothy. So these are really great for that. Um, so yeah, so again, as I get closer, if I want to have something a little bit different, then I'll have something like that. Teas are also really good. Teas, this is like a little tea set. I have a lot of teas. Maybe that's another, another video as well, but I have a crack in my teas. I have a tea obsession. And um, my boyfriend got me this, and it's like a couple of different teas, like different uh, flavors of them. I've used a lot of them. <laughs> They're like almost gone. Um, but this is kind of cool too that I'll do. Um, it's a little trick if you want to help with curbing some sugar cravings. Um, make your tea, if you like tea, make it. Make a little amount of it. Um, and add either like a teaspoon or a couple of teaspoons, depending on how much sugar you have for the day, of honey in there. You mix it up and because it's so small, it just tastes really, really concentrated. So it helps me and a few of my other clients curb that sugar craving because it's so freaking sweet. You're like, that's too much. So it can help with that if you ever want to try it out. So I use that uh, too. Uh, if you don't want to use any of the sweetener for your teas or you know your coffee, whatever it is, these this is really good as well. So it's monk fruit. Um, it doesn't taste weird to me. Now some people I know like they're kind of wary of some, of, um, some you know different sweeteners, uh, whether it's like stevia or whatever like that. And for that matter, stevia, if you want to get it in liquid form, it's not the bite. If you get it in the powdered form, then there can be a little bit of a bite to it. Um, it's paired with other things too. Um, but this one is monk fruit. It's in a lot of products now. I'm sure you'll see it a little bit more often, but it tastes really good. I put it in my coffee this morning and um, there's um, not much in the way as far as carbs. There's four grams of carbs in there um, and sugars are zero, but the sugar al alcohol is at four. This I'll cut to get closer to shows, but for now it's still fine. Let's get into sauces really quickly. Let's talk about Tessie Mays. I love, I love, love, love this ranch. But everything, everything that I'm saying on here, or if I post it on my Instagram, I actually like their stuff. It's not just me saying like, oh, like they, 
sent me some stuff or I just to just have more shit up on my whatever. No, I actually like everything on, on there that I'm posting, everything that I'm saying to you guys. Now, this brand, before I found this, they actually reached out to me and wanted to send me a box of their stuff. And I looked at their ingredients, I'm like, yeah, sure, that sounds kind of cool, so send me your stuff. Um, and also disclaimer, even if I like this stuff, maybe you won't. Maybe stuff, there's some things that are also amazing out there that I haven't heard of yet, um, or things that are so good as far as quality goes, but I don't like the taste of it. If you don't like the taste of it, then it's fine. There's so many other things that you can have. If you don't like something, you don't have to buy it. Um, so, with that being said, they sent me a box of some of their um, uh, oil-based sauces and marinades, and to be honest with you, I just they weren't my thing. They were not my favorite thing. So I did it post about them. And I felt really bad because they sent me a whole box of their stuff. Um, so I did give them to some of my clients and they liked them, um, but I didn't post about it obviously. So um, like a couple months later, I wanted to go make my own um, uh, ranch. I wanted to make my own ranch because I couldn't find any other good brands that made an actual ranch that did not have canola oil or vegetable oil, oil in them. So next to the dill, which is what I was going to be using in my ranch, I actually found this. And the brand, I just recognized it. I'm like, oh, okay, like I've, I've heard of them before. I looked at the ingredients. It was super close to the recipe I was gonna look at, uh, making. So I was like, okay, you know what, I'll try it. If I don't like it, it's a couple bucks, it's fine. But I tried it and I freaking loved it, like so much that I posted about it and I sent them an email saying, hey, I'm sorry that I didn't post about the other sauces and marinades. They weren't my jam exactly, but this one I love so much and I will talk about it for freaking ever, whoever wants to listen to me. So this, I put it on my eggs, I put it on like my chicken, I put it on salads, whatever you wanna do. I know someone that put it on steak. Don't be out here putting it on steak. Do whatever you wanna do, but like don't mess it up. This is really good by itself too. Um, but yeah, or you can dip um, your uh, carrots in there, celery, whatever veggies you wanna do. Like it's just really great for all those different things. So yeah, again, same thing. Just make sure you're tracking your stuff because it, it is fats, but it's fine. So these two, usually I pair together. Oh my God, there's a little bit of um, There's a little bit of coconut uh, aminos from um, uh, big tree uh, farms. So this one, usually again, it's just something that like I'll make my chicken, I'll make my shrimp, I'll just sprinkle it on top. Obviously again, like track how much you're having, especially if you're a competitor, but this makes my food interesting. It makes it really easy. I get a lot of my food prepped right now from Saints Meal Prep here in town. They make a lot of my food like grilled, it's already um, baked or it's already steamed, stuff like that. So I just have that I put, put into a pan, put this in you know, on top of it, and my food's done in like three minutes, less than three minutes. So and it tastes really good. So um, this one I usually will pair sometimes with this red curry paste. Any kind of like flavors like this I also love and they're really easy and again both the ingredients of these are super super simple. So again for this one um, in here is red chili, pepper, garlic, lemongrass, salt, shallots, coriander root, kefir, lime peel. Easy and freaking great. It tastes really good. Um, so yeah, so these are a couple other sauces that I like to use for my food a lot too. So let's get into this real quick. This brand um, is called Maya Kamal. I love their stuff. I really, really do love their stuff. I will still have their sauces right now, even a couple weeks out from my show. Now some people, when they compete, or when they're just trying to be healthier, they use this brand called Walden Farms. Alden Farms. If you like it, great. Maybe some things here you don't like. I hate Walden Farms. I tried, I, you cannot pay me to eat Walden Farms. <laughs> That's so shade-like. Someone from there that, that works there, don't comment shit on my post, please. Um, but I just don't like their stuff that much. Um, it's supposed to be like zero uh, calorie, zero fat, zero sugar. I'm sorry, but where are the calories? What, what is it What is it then? No, it doesn't taste good. I, I tried it. I, I tried it like a number of years ago. And even in this last prep, I wanted to you know have even more um, stuff on my food. So I wanted to give it a try again. And I just like, no, I can't do it. I would rather have, again, a better tasting sauce or whatever, like something to sprinkle on top of it, even lime, whatever, chili pepper and lime, then have something like that that I don't like. Even if I'm in prep, I want my food to still taste good. I don't want to, you know, feel like, again, like I'm um, dying to have something else other than what I'm having and what should still be interesting and good to me. Um, I try to make sure I do that all the time. 
Uh, but this brand, um, again, Maya Kamal, the ingredients are really good. Yes, there are some fats and some carbs in there, but just track it, obviously. Don't you have the entire bottle. Um, they taste, again, really good. Um, one thing with them, though, and they've fixed it since then. Um, so a year or so, a little over a year, it's been a little over a year or so ago, um, the brand, when I posted about them, they reached out to me and they wanted to send me some of their lentils. And I was like, oh yeah, like I love your stuff. Like, please feel free to send it to me. Um, so they sent me their lentils and I do love their lentils. I still love their lentils. But when I was reading the back of some of their ingredients and I was looking at some of the macros, they were changed. And I was wondering why. And it's because they changed from using a different oil to using canola oil. And again, another video for another time, but canola oil is really inflammatory to our bodies. So it's the difference between me buying something and not buying it. So with this, again, with this brand, they use canola oil for a while. So again, like that's, it's all to kind of say, even if you like a brand, any of these brands, um, if they happen to change at any point in time, you need to be mindful about that. So even a brand that I will use for like, you know, a few years, I still read the back every single time because it can always change and it can always change as far as the macros too. So again, I reached out to them and I was like, hey, like, I'm really sad because I loved your stuff. I loved the sauces. They were really easy. The ingredients were really great. But now I can't promote them because you have canola oil in, their, in your food and it's not that great for our bodies. So. Fast forward, like a few months ago, they actually like changed it back. I got all the bottles before they changed them out at Sprouts and they were all canola oil. Now they changed the back. So I'm super happy about that. So now I can, can promote them again, but still read the back. Don't get, don't get shysty. Maya, come on, if I like your stuff. Those are a lot of my snacks for right now. I wanna try to keep them updated a little bit more, but um, for now, it's kinda of what I'm sticking with for the most part for snacks, for food, for sauces, uh, things like that. Whatever you like. Whatever it is that you like, I can guarantee you there's a way to make it that's a little bit easier on your body, easier on your macros and things like that. You just have to like look for this stuff. I didn't just, you know, walk in to Sprouts one day and like know all of these things or wherever as I walked into for shopping. Um, I had to look for this stuff. I had to try it out. Um, some things I tried and I did not like. Some things I tried and again, they switched the ingredients on me, stuff like that. So um, if you have the time to like just look around a little bit and try some different stuff, I guarantee you'll find some things that actually go along with your goals and fit with your body a bit more. That's not gonna cause you to have guilt, some, um, uh, you know, weight gain, some irritation inflammation, stuff like that. So a few, just a couple of uh, updates also on my prep right now. I'm around, is it 10 weeks or 11 weeks now? I have to look back. I think it's 11 weeks I'm out now. That's my first show. And then I have another show a month after that. So my carbs and my calories are coming down a little bit. It's not crazy. I had a, like two irritable days, but for the most part, it's been fine. Um, and uh, I'm still working out like six days a week. My cardio is starting to go up a little bit. So I've been watching more shows. I'm watching um, Lucifer right now. I have Big Little Lies I'm watching. If you guys have any cool shows that you recommend, please feel free to send them my way. And then I also went on a hike this uh, week too. I went on a hike to this area called uh, Trail of 100 Giants and it's out in the Sequoias. If you guys haven't seen anything like that before, find some, some, some place, not some place, go there, just go there. Um, they have these humongous, humongous trees. I'm a big person. I'm 5'10 and a half or so. Um, and these trees just dwarfed me. Um, I'll, I'll send like, I'll, I'll post a few pictures or a video here wherever it's gonna go. And uh, it was really, really fun. And I had, again, a couple of these snacks with me for my picnic when we went up there. Um, and yeah, it was you know, nice being in nature for a little bit. We walked, it was, the weather was amazing. And I just enjoyed it. And some, that's something that like, again, whether you're a competitor or if you're just someone who's trying to be healthier and you feel like you're just kind of pushed into a box with, you know, having to be at home all of the time or feel like you can't travel or feel like you can't have different food and stuff like that. Like that that's a perfect way to hate your life right then. Like whether it's for competing or if you're trying to get healthier, you resent the food that you're eating or resent the fact that you can't go out with friends or go do things with them. Find ways to make it work. Like again, um, we went out there, um, hiked a little bit. It's still active. It's still, you know, it was really nice. It was different. Got a cool bunch of cool pictures and videos of me hopping on logs and stuff. 
um, and I brought some food with me. I just made sure I planned it out before. So that's something also if you guys can learn that from me is whether you're comp competing or if you're you know not and you're just trying to be healthier and fit and things like that. You can still do this and still have a really great life. You can still be doing this and still like live your best life. And don't let someone else's view on that or um, maybe even just get in your own head about not being able to branch out and do those different things or feel like you, again, can't go anywhere and you, you know, are just walking around all grumpy and mad, which I've done before. <laughs> like, a few, few preps before, I was like just staying at home and like being like, no, I can't go hang out tonight because like I'm in prep. Like, what? Why? I can still walk. I can still walk. I can still dance. I can still have fun. So that's something I want to make sure you guys do too because the whole point of this is again to be living better and to feel better and to have a better, you know, mindset and have a better life and all that kind of cool stuff. So if you guys have any other questions about anything, um, please feel free to leave them in the comments or, you know, if you're on my YouTube and you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram and uh, so you have more updates there leave more comments there other than that until next time okay so train hard y'all and be well